Hello and welcome to our channel. As the famous saying says, winter is coming, our diet is changing as well. And because we have an abundance of fresh organic vegetables we produce ourselves, we have the opportunity to make daily smoothies using raw ingredients. I call it pick-me-up medicine. Towards the end of October, the weather is definitely changing and sunny days are scarcer, so it's always a great opportunity to get out of the farm and enjoy the forest in its full beauty. We found this spot only five minutes drive from us just a week ago when searching for an area that hasn't burned during this year's devastating fires. We both love trees and the atmosphere they bring. All kinds of fungi now appear everywhere, sun shines through the almost bare branches and the earth sings its lullaby accompanied by a heady scent of wet ground with slowly decomposing leaves. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, yes, yes.
go. Well, it's the 1st of November today, and uh, I'm back in the garden, and I just wanted to show you the flowers of sweet potato, finally. <laughs> it's quite late, but they are beautiful, huh? In one of our early or earlier videos, um, I have shared um, a new system of growing sweet potatoes that we were trying out this year because in the past um, we ended up with uh, the plants struggling so much so this year um, I have or we have uh, let the slips to root first in the water and once they've developed a nice root system we have planted them all out and we thought well we'll see if that's going to work or not and I have to say the plants have done incredibly well uh, despite the very dry summer this year and we haven't had to water them so much and they are just starting to flower now which is very late it's first of November today and it's not particularly warm either but um, I have just tried to dig some of the potatoes this is just one plant and you see this huge cluster which I can't get out so I need to be very careful because we don't have a fork we have to buy a new fork um, so I will be trying to get them out <laughs> as gently as I can without breaking them because they are very um, fragile so first I uh, dug out the purple sweet potatoes and we have two varieties. One is the orange one with the darker leaves, um, purple leaves, which is quite weird uh, considering uh, the light green um, leaves are purple uh, sweet potatoes. But there's uh, one interesting fact, I don't know, you might know already. But um, everything from the sweet potato plant is actually edible. So even the leaves, and uh, the leaves are very b beneficial, full of very good nutrients and vitamins. And I, I think it's a, one of the best antioxidants as well. So you can add them to salads, you can eat them raw, you can cook them just like any other leaf vegetables. Uh, but I'm going to have a look because I saw a little orange potato <laughs> peeking out so I'll see whether or how much there is so again not a bad haul and 
and this is just these are just a few of the vegetables that are still growing in the garden um, you know we have many leaf vegetables and 